Welcome to Advanced Activity Templates. Technology transforms learning when it is used to redefine or create learning experiences that were previously not possible. Seesaw activities do just that. They create transformational learning experiences. In this training, you will create activity templates with interactive movable pieces that leverage video, audio, and links, and that support exploration and choice. Seesaw makes learning experiences interactive. In my library, create a new activity. Add a template for student responses. Use the upload tool to upload a background image. Here, we uploaded an illustrated scene. Other ideas for backgrounds include photos, graphic organizers, or blank charts, graphs, and diagrams. By default, whatever you upload to the canvas, your background, will be locked in place. Add additional layers of photos, labels, and shapes for students to move. We'll show you how. To add movable photos, click the camera icon, then upload. For example, we'll upload photos of characters that students can drag and move as they tell a story. Here they are. Students have a picture of a cat, a dog, and a pigeon to use when telling their story. You can also add movable labels by clicking the T. Did you know that you can copy and paste emojis into Seesaw labels? Here we added a label and then copy and pasted an emoji of a backpack into the label. Pretty cool. Or click the three dots, then shapes to add shapes. All of these photos, labels, and shapes will be movable. Here's a pro tip. Lock just the size of the object so students can't accidentally resize or distort it when dragging. Click the three dots on the object, then click lock size. If you want a certain object not to be movable at all, click the three dots, then lock all. Any object that is not locked will be movable. Here's the activity in action. Students drag the photos, shapes, and labels, but the background is locked in place. You can also create interactive math sorts, draggable graphs, and interactive science diagrams. Pause the video now and practice creating interactive templates with movable pieces. Another way to create multidimensional learning experiences is by leveraging video, audio, and links. Once again, create a new activity and add a template for student responses. Either record a video in Seesaw up to five minutes or upload a video file up to 250 megabytes. In your video, explain or demonstrate directions, model the task, give a mini lesson, or whatever else your students need. By default, your video will be locked in place on the canvas. Unlock the video by clicking the three dots, then unlock. Use the move tool to drag the corners of the video to make room on the canvas for the student to share their learning. Add shapes, labels, drawings, or photos to build the learning task that students will complete. Keep in mind, that at this time, you can only have one video for each page. Since you added a video, students will not be able to respond with video. You can also add audio recordings to any object. Click the three dots, then audio. You might read aloud text or explain a photo. Or add links to external resources that help students complete the activity. Click the three dots, then link. Seesaw Plus and Seesaw for Schools users can create multi-page templates, which means even more room for learning. You might add your video to page one, then click add page to add additional pages. Here, we use page two to give students more space to show their learning. We even added a third page with an extension activity. Sometimes you might wanna show a screen recording of how to complete a certain part of the activity. Use the microphone. After you build your activity, click the mic, record the Seesaw Canvas and voice to model directions a specific strategy, and more. Seesaw Plus and Seesaw for Schools users can use the mic across pages. If you record across pages, the recording will save as the first page of the activity. You can always click and move the recording to another page if you wish. Pause the video and create a multimodal template. With Seesaw activities, you can also support exploration and choice in new, exciting ways. Create an activity and add a template for student responses. Upload a choice board. Use labels, photos, and shapes to explain students' options. Here, we added a background color and labels. Or add links to resources students need to complete the activity. Remember, to add links, click on an object, click the three dots, then click link. To best support exploration and choice, provide multiple options for outputs. Free users, make sure to leave a blank space on the page for students to show learning. Seesaw Plus and Seesaw for Schools users have more space to provide more options. 
use page one for your choice board, then add additional pages for students to share their learning. Whether your template is one page or more, give students time to explore and create on their own. Make sure to plan time for students to come back together and share. Pause the video now and create a choice board for an upcoming lesson. You did it! You now know how to create transformational learning experiences within Seesaw Activities. Thanks for learning with us today. You can find more free training at web.seesaw.me forward slash training. See you again soon here at Seesaw.